Okay, let's look at some action examples for the web browser object. I'm going to go ahead and shorten our web browser object here just so I can wedge in some buttons on top and I'm going to create a label by clicking on the label object icon in the icon bar. Here I'm going to type in back and I'm just going to lay this out here, create a new one by pressing control D and in the new one type in forward. I'm going to press control D again and I'm going to type in for this label Google I'm going to press Control D one more time to create a fourth label object. And this one I'm going to type in get URL. Okay? So I'll just go ahead and align these and distribute them a bit just to make them look a little bit neater. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and add our actions. I'm going to double click on the back label and in the actions panel and the on click tab I'll click on the add action button and I will choose web back so I'll double click on the web back action from the web category and that's going to act like a web browser back button okay so we've got our object name web1 by default that's the right one we'll press finish and OK and we've got that web back action attached to that label now we'll do the same thing but we'll use a web forward action so we're double clicking on our forward label and we're going into our actions area and choosing web forward this time. Okay, so I'll double click that and press finish. As you can see here we've got a web forward action attached to the on click event of our forward label. So those are going to act like a back and forward button from a normal web browser. Now let's double click on the Google label and choose from our actions menu the web load URL action. So I'll double click on that. and We have web load URL. Let's go ahead and change this default value just for fun. You can use that value and go to our website if you like, but I'm going to change it to Google. So google.ca and I'm going to press finish and then press OK. And finally we're going to go with our last label object here and double click on the get URL label and in the on click tab click add action and choose web get url and this is going to get the url of our web object into a variable in this case called result so go ahead and press finish and i'm just going to type that into a dialog message box here manually okay and i'll press okay and we'll go ahead and press f5 to preview our project Now our web object is going to navigate to Google by default because that's what we have typed into it. Let's go ahead and type something into Google search. Let's say Dogpile and we'll go ahead and click on that link. So this is taking us to a second search engine, Dogpile. Now if we press the back button you'll notice it takes us back a page and again if we press it again it takes us back to the original page. We can do the same by using the forward button but the other direction. So we can use back and forward to go back and forth between the pages in order. Now, here we are at Google. If we press on the Google button, or sorry, here we are at Dogpile. If we press on the Google button, we go back to Google because we're using that load URL action. And you can load any URL in your web object. It doesn't have to be an internet URL. It could be a, a file that you have in your project folder and so forth. But that Google button is using that load URL action to create that navigation from the um, from wherever you are to that Google site. Okay, and finally we're going to look at the get URL function. So let's go back to Dogpile by pressing the back button and then I'm going to press the get URL label. As you can see here, it displays our URL in a dialog message box, dogpile.com. I'll press OK. Now I'm going to press on the Google button and try that again. Here we are at Google and I'll press on the get URL button and now you see it displays the new URL, google.ca. So this is a simple demonstration of the web browser object in conjunction with some text labels and how you can use these web browser actions. Let's go on to the next tutorial.